Uh, our next talk uh, is from a PhD taking Lego to another degree. Let's hear it for David Lord. You can do a lot with Lego. You can have fun with it, you can learn, you can build things to use, you can make art, you can wear just clothing. That's just to name a few of the things that I hope to share with you today. Now you already know how to have fun with Lego. You buy a set, open it, follow the instructions, play, step on a rogue piece of Lego barefoot. The, uh, when I was a kid, I, uh, I made these sets and then I immediately took them apart because I really just wanted the pieces to make anything that I wanted. And what's better than being a kid, being able to make anything you want? Being an adult, being able to make anything you want. So this is Nathan Sawaya. He was a lawyer who quit law to uh, make art out of Lego. Uh, not everybody can necessarily uh, do this, but I uh, myself do like to use Lego in my work. I'm a biomedical engineer, and I get the privilege of uh, working on medical devices to hopefully help people. I often prototype early using Lego. Uh, other people do this as well. Google famously encased their first servers with Lego, and uh, Lego's even been to space. Lego is also a great uh, teaching and learning tool. Uh, you can teach uh, teamwork, storytelling, engineering, programming, uh, especially problem solving. Uh, for several years, I was a coach of the of, uh, middle school Lego robotics teams using Mindstorms robotics. And I got to see uh, how well Lego worked as a uh, <coughs> excuse me, teaching tool. Uh, I've also learned a lot from Lego myself. Uh, a few years ago, my sister was uh, moving into a new house, building a bunch of IKEA furniture, and I was helping her, and she wondered, well, how did you, why did you become handy and actually enjoy this when nobody in our family likes doing this sort of thing? And I realized Lego kind of gave that to me. I, Lego taught me how to build IKEA furniture, which is basically <laughs> Lego marketed to adults. So my wife and I also used uh, Lego heavily at our wedding. Uh, it was decoration and clothing. Uh, my wife is very understanding and has also, uh, she's become a Lego fan herself. Uh, we had Lego, loose Lego in the centerpieces so people could entertain themselves and uh, we, uh, she's so much into Lego now that we're also both part of a club called Mishlug. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this was also when we uh, went on our honeymoon and took many, many photos <laughs> of ourselves represented as Lego. And so this, uh, the club that we're in, Mishlug, is a group of people that really love to just make cool stuff out of Lego. And a lot of, you've probably seen us in the local Lego show, uh, Brick Bash. And uh, most of the people in the group uh, build large buildings. And so on my first trip to Mackinac Island at Grand Hotel, I saw uh, first uh, I saw Grand Hotel and thought that building needs to be made out of Lego. Uh, so I started working on it and um, it, it, was a, it was like a jigs trying to do a jigsaw puzzle. And it was a lot of fun and at first I had to work on the scale and make prototypes and decide what pieces I needed to build certain uh, dynamics. And the club really helped with this by helping provide pieces in, in large scale. And um, so eventually it was done and I displayed it at Brick Bash. It was nine feet long and impossible to move. And, uh, but luckily people from Grand Hotel had seen it and really liked it and invited my fiance in the time and I up to show it at, at uh, the hotel itself. And that really made it worth it. The, the challenge was fun. But bringing it up there was really difficult because you have to get up there by ferry and there are no cars on the island. So they traveled by horse carriage. And uh, so that was a challenge itself. And I learned a few things. People always want to know how many pieces. It's 25,000 pieces. And I learned that, people, that kids love Lego horse poop. They cannot get enough of it. <laughs> and so I stuck with this theme. And I made a smaller version of Grand Hotel so that I could move it around. And so this one is only 710 pieces. And I made it so that I can also submit it to Lego Ideas contest to hopefully become a set. So if you like the model, I'd appreciate your votes. Uh, you just go to ideas.lego.com, you search for Grand Hotel, make a free account, um, click support. 
So there's a lot more that I wish I could tell you about Lego, but the thing that I'd really like to tell you is that uh, making things can be really fun and rewarding, and uh, Lego is a great tool for this, but uh, I'd encourage you to find what works for you to build and create. Thank you. Thanks, David. I'm going to find some Lego horse poop somewhere, for sure.